came to Mary and said, Hail art thou, highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. At first Mary was frightened. Gabriel told her that she should not be afraid. The angel said, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You have been chosen to be the mother of his son. You shall name him Jesus. He shall be called the Son of the Highest, and to his kingdom there shall be no end. And it came out to pass in those days that there went out to a decree that every man must go to his family city to pay his taxes. Joseph's family had come from Bethlehem. Although Mary was now great with child, together they began the long journey to Bethlehem, with Mary riding on a donkey and Joseph walking at her side.
When Joseph and Mary arrived in Bethlehem, the city was crowded with people who had come to be taxed. Joseph and Mary could not find a place to stay. At last, a kindly innkeeper saw that Mary was soon to give birth and felt sorry for her and Joseph. I do not have any room at the inn, said the innkeeper, but I know a stable where you can stay. At least there you'll have a warm place to sleep, Joseph thanked the innkeeper. And so it was that, while they were there in the stable besides the cows and the sheep, the babe, the baby Jesus was born.
Then the sky was suddenly filled with angels singing and praising God. And then, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born the king? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. And lo, a star appeared and went before them, till it came and stood over the place where the child was. And they rejoiced with exceeding great joy.
wise men came in and saw Jesus, they fell down to their knees and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they offered him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And so it was as the angel had promised. As Jesus grew strong in spirit and wisdom, so he grew in favor with God and man.
settled down. It used to be so much. Well, thank you all for coming tonight. We really appreciate your attendance. I'd like to point out that I auditioned for the world of the fourth wise man, but I did not make the cut. What I want to do just very briefly before I dismiss, and just as a side note, we're going to dismiss one group at a time back to the cafeteria so we can stay organized. And we're going to ask families to meet students outside of the cafeteria or inside of the cafeteria to pick them up to go home tonight so that the nice folks at Rice can clean up and get home in a decent hour. Uh, so many people are really behind the scenes making this happen, and I just want to say thank you to a few of them. Um, as you know, any good production always has a great team behind it. First of all, the faculty and staff of St. Francis for all their work and time and energy. <laughs> we want to thank Mr. Ellington for managing the stage crew who's hiding behind the tarp but has been working hard and celebrating all night with the loudest claps in the whole place. I want to thank Mr. Zirak, who is uh, the key to designing all these beautiful props you see on stage. He took many countless hours to build our backdrop and our major scene. Thank you to him for all his work. <laughs> also want to thank Mr. Johnson, who took his large truck and some time out of his day to transport all this here from St. Francis to Rice, so we appreciate that. If I don't thank this person, my mic could die at any time. We want to thank Mr. Becker for coming out tonight, putting the sound together for us. Thank you, Mr. Becker. And then there are five people that I need to invite up front and take a special thank you to. Those are the uh, ladies behind the show, Ms. Robin McCormick, Ms. Jane McCormick, Ms. Becky Wetzel, Ms. Sukatai, and of course, Ms. Palchat. We have a small token of our appreciation I'd like to give to you, if you don't mind coming forward. Senior, forward real quick to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Becker, but I never say a few words. <laughs> but I do want to stop, and I ask for you to do it. I've been, I've been coming to these for a long time, and I've been the pastor of this parish for 26 years. This is by far the best production I've ever seen. And I'm going to tell you why. And it's the best production we've ever seen because you centered on one thing, Jesus Christ. You took this beautiful feast of our Lord's birth and made it a prayer. And that's why we exist. We exist, we're not just a school, we're not a private school, we're a Catholic school. And when other, when other schools cannot do anything to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, we can, and that's why we're here, and that's why we'll stay here. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Thank you all for coming. Please travel safe. Pre-K and 8th grade, you are heading off first. <laughs>